Hello developers and welcome back. In this video, we're going to start our amazing course about Jetpack Compose. So we're going to start our Android Jetpack Compose course. We're going to start with downloading and installing Android Studio on our device and start building Android applications using Composables and Jetpack Compose. Android Studio is the official integrated development environment, IDE for Android app development. Here in this video, we're going to go a step-by-step -step guide to download and install this amazing IDE. The first step, you need to go to developer.android.com slash studio and choose download. Click download Android Studio Ladybug. This is the latest version of Android Studio at the time of recording this video. Click on it, scroll down, tick I have read and agree with the above terms and conditions. Click download and wait for Android Studio setup to download. You can see the latest uh, versions and the latest features of uh, Android Studio by scrolling down. Also, if you don't have Windows, if you are running on Mac or Linux, you can scroll down and choose the correct version for your OS. For Windows, you can choose 64-bit, Mac and Linux. Also, Chrome OS is support, okay? So these are the different versions of Android Studio for different OS. After downloading it, run the setup. By the way, I am inviting you to join my bestseller courses on Udemy. So you can go to Udemy and search for Android. This is my course on Udemy. It's a bestseller course. You can learn Android app development from scratch and build apps that millions can use. Don't worry, I'll give you a coupon so by clicking on apply coupon, use the coupon in the uh, d description below, like master coding, do apply the coupon and you can get a 81% of coupon. Okay, so grab your coupons below. My course is designed for beginners with hands-on projects to make your job ready in no time. Also, you can check my bestseller course this is part one for Android app development. This is part two for Jetpack Compose. So if you are looking for, looking for Jetpack Compose development, you can enroll directly in part two. Also, you can apply the same coupons in the previous, uh, in, in the description below. And here we go. You can get your free coupons. Okay, so Enroll now and get lifetime access to all course materials, updates, and expert support. By the way, I'm updating this course and making it the biggest on earth. Back to our Android Studio. Here we are on the welcome screen. We need to configure the SDK manager. So here, click more options or more actions. SDK manager, you should select the latest version of the SDK. So click on this, select all, and also you can, uh, for example, uh, choose not to download them all. You can only download the Android SDK platform. This is the latest version, Baklava. Click apply and click OK. Wait for the download. Also, we need to configure the SDK tools. Always choose the latest version of the SDK build tools. Here, 36.0.0 RC, click apply and download it. But for me, I advise you not to download the preview. Always download the most stable versions like Android API 35, for example. So choose the Android SDK platform 35 and sources for Android 35. Scroll down to see that I didn't download anything. We need to download only these two. These are the most important and most necessary, okay? The SDK, the Software Development Kit, a collection of tools, libraries, and documentation required to develop Android applications, including tools like Android Debug, Bridge, ADB, Emulator, and Build Tools. The second step is to configure the emulator. Go to more actions, select virtual device manager. Here, we need to create our device managers. AVD, Android virtual device, a configuration that defines the characteristics of an emulator, such as a screen size, Android version, and hardware features. This device manager allows you to run 
simulated and emulated emulators and virtual devices on your PC. You can create a new virtual screen or virtual device. You can select tablet, phone, Wear OS, desktop, TV, automotive, and legacy. So I can select phone. We are interested in phones. Uh, you can select, for example, Pixel 7, Pixel 8, and so on. Okay, you can create a new hardware profile or import hardware profiles. Next, you can download the latest versions of the SDK. You can see it here, the system image. You need to download the latest versions. Click on this and you can see that Android Studio SDK component installer has begin downloading the, uh, the SDK. After you download it, you can select it, then click next. And this is very important step. You, can, you, you need to download the system image. So whenever you see that there is no icon like this, you can select it. Okay, click next. We need to configure the AVD name. For example, my device, Pixel 8 API. Okay, then you can choose portrait, landscape, and so on. Click finish, and here we go. This is my device, Pixel 8 API. You can run it here. This welcome screen of Android Studio allows you to create a new project, open a project, uh, get from GitHub, for, uh, the version control system, also, you can check the profile or debug APK, APK, the Android package kit, the file format used to distribute and install Android applications. You can import an Android code sample and so on. You can go to here to customize the appearance of the Android Studio. You can check the light mode. You can go to light with light header, high contrast, dark, Dracula and so on. You can choose also the uh, color scheme. The font ID, you can choose 18, increase the font size, and so on. You can go to the plugins section, search for the plugins. For example, the JSON to Kotlin class, this is the plugin, you can download it. You can download other uh, plugins. These are very, very useful from the marketplace, Jenny Motion, Back and Sync, Code GPT, and other plugins that they are very useful. You can go to learn, enable access to the program or other uh, tutorials. You can choose the option menu. You can check for updates. If your Android Studio has an update, you can download it directly by choosing check for updates. You can also apply some patches and download some um, small changes and patches to the Android Studio. You can go to the other options, you can see the about and so on. Okay, so this is our IDE. This is our amazing Android Studio that we're going to use it to build our projects and our $1 billion applications. This is the emulator. This is uh, the device that we're going to run our applications on it. So we're going to test, debug, uh, run our applications on this emulator. Okay, so I think you are motivated. If this is your first time you visit our channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or if you already subscribe, please like, comment, and share. Thank you guys. See you in the next videos.